this week I'm trying the Domestic Goffesses Vegan Chocolate Guinness Cake. This recipe looks so simple and easy. I've got all of my ingredients here already weighed out. I've preheated the oven to 160 degrees Celsius. I'm using a fan oven and I've greased and lined two 8 inch round cake tins ready for my cake to go in. I'm now going to, in a big bowl, put in some oil. I'm using vegetable oil. And then I'm putting in my Guinness. Mm, that smells nice. I've got some plain vegan yoghurt. I'm using Alpro. Now I need to put in one teaspoon of lemon juice. Now in the recipe it says to use either white wine vinegar or cider vinegar, but it's also okay to use lemon juice. We're putting in some kind of acid because I believe the acid has a chemical reaction with the baking powder and that forms the rice uh, obviously we're not using eggs um, and you do get a really good rise from it. Now for some vanilla. Yeah, if you want the measurements, have a look at the link in the description below. Now I'm putting in my sugars. That's one. So now we have to whisk this together. I'm now going to sift together the remaining dry ingredients. So in with the flour, cocoa powder, baking powder, Bicarb and salt. That's it, so all the dry ingredients are in there, so let's give it a sift. I'm assuming that the Guinness gives this cake a really moist texture. Um, I can't wait to try it. I can remember a friend a long time ago saying that they'd made a chocolate Guinness cake and it really appealed to me. So when I saw this recipe on the Domestic Gothess website, well, I just had to try it. Right, we need to put these dry ingredients now into the wet mixture and give it a whisk. But we have to be careful not to over whisk it, otherwise it can become a, a bit tough apparently. So we just want to make sure that everything's just getting combined nicely and there's just no lumps left in it. Let's give this 30 minutes and we'll check then to see if that it's cooked properly. So while the cake's baking in the oven, I'm going to get on making the buttercream. In the recipe, it tells you to put whiskey in the buttercream, but I'm not a fan of whiskey, so I'm just gonna omit that. So literally, we're just putting in icing sugar and um, butter into the mixer. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Oh, icing sugar. I, I don't like using icing sugar. It goes everywhere. <laughs> look, I have a cloud of smoke. 
<laughs> hopefully we'll be able to see soon <laughs> so now the dust has cleared i'm going to replace the whiskey for two teaspoons of vanilla essence instead i like vanilla quite a lot so yeah this is my substitute choice to say that cake is smelling divine as it's baking. So we're going to whisk this up now to make this buttercream. So the buttercream is now ready and I have just tasted it and it tastes very nice. I'm glad I substituted the um, vanilla extract for the whiskey because I know that I wouldn't have been keen on it. So my cakes are ready and I ended up giving them 35 minutes in the end as at 30 minutes they still weren't done so yeah 35 minutes was perfect for me. So I'm just going to let them now cool for 10 minutes in the tin and then I'm going to turn them out to cool properly. So now it's time to make the ganache whilst the cake is cooling. So we've got dark chocolate, cream and the Guinness. Now usually I always use Elm Lee plant cream but they didn't have any this week in Tesco but I found this. Flora, it's a new one. I didn't know that they were making a plant cream so I'm going to give it a go and at the moment, it looks exactly the same as Elm Lee, so I'll let you know how I get on with that. So the next step, we need to put the cream and the Guinness in a pan and heat them together. So let's put the hot on. I'm putting it on a medium setting. So, cream in. Let's get it all out. Oh, that smells lovely. So this is just coming to a simmer now. So I'm going to remove it from the heat. So I'm going to pour this over the chocolate so it melts and we're going to leave it for about five minutes and hopefully it'll be ready. Right, it's been five minutes, so let's give this a stir. Now we just need to put in our butter. Should give it a nice gloss. Okay, so don't do what I've just done. Don't just put the butter into the mixture because you're supposed to melt the butter first. Oh, never mind. Luckily, I've just put the, this into the microwave for half a minute and it's literally all melted together. It's fine. So panic over. So in the instructions, it says to set this aside and let it cool so it becomes thick and spreadable and that will give the cake time to cool down properly. Okay so it's time to ice this cake. Cool look at that. That is one risen cake. Okay so now I need to put the ganache on. Look at this. 
according to the vegan goddess, this should last up to four days in a sealed container. Oh, not in my house it won't.